Hi Jamie, this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks. So looking at our tandem kayaks, uh, the two that are going to, sorry, the three uh, that are possible for you is the Advanced Run Convertible Elite, the Advanced Run Convertible and the Straight Edge 2. The Lagoon 2 is not going to be long enough in the legs for the 185 centimetre person. Now, what's the right one between these three? There's no right or wrong, there's always just pros and cons. So straight up, the Straight Edge 2 is better for fishing. Now, you just said occasionally for fishing, though. So when people say occasionally, I usually don't kind of focus the choice on fishing. The reason it's better, just to give you a heads up, is it's got um, rod holders here and one in the back. It's open, which makes it a bit easy to reach for um, tackle and whatnot. And the floor is PVC tarpaulin, which is totally robust, so the whole kayak is, is good to go for fishing, basically. It's also got on the side the, the strap... Um, the Velcro paddle leashes for um, strapping on rods and or paddles. Now, it's not the best for paddling though, right? So it's quite a bit shorter than these advanced frames. And it's also, as you can see by looking at it, just a completely different design of kayak. So these two are better for paddling. They'll go faster, they'll go straighter, they'll be easier to paddle. I also find that these ones are a bit more comfortable as well. They've got a higher back seat. The seat is still nice, uh, but it's not quite, as, it, it's quite supportive. Like see how it's strapped in excuse me, hiccups, see how it's strapped in uh, high in the inner tubes. It's still quite supportive, but it's not as supportive as these ones. These ones are kind of the deluxe. So if fishing is, so I do have customers that fish from these ones, the advanced train convertibles. They just do it, it it's just not a um, the main thing they're doing, if that makes sense. So it's, um, you just need to be a bit careful with this one in particular of the floor. The floor is a bit vulnerable. The rest of the kayak is totally fine. Just the floor needs some sort of protection on it, like a mat or something. In fact, there is a mat we sell that goes with it. This one doesn't. This one's completely robust because it's got a drop stitch floor in it. So you wouldn't have any problems with this. You've still got the Velcro on the sides for strapping on a paddle or a fishing rod. And there's a deep pocket behind the seats as well. Um, and it's fairly open cockpit. It's just not quite as, it, there's no rod holders in it for fishing. Now, that out of the way, these ones are better for open ocean, I think. This one is classed as suitable for open ocean, the strategy too, because you did tick open ocean in your form. Um, but although it's classed for open ocean, that's because you get wet, right? It's a self, it's what's called a self bailing sit on top kike. So when water sloshes over the side, it drains out down the sides here where the floor meets the tubes. So yes, it's suitable because water can drain if it sloshes over, but you get wet. Uh, whereas these two, you can actually put on a skirt. I'll show you. You put, sorry, you zip on a deck. There's a double deck conversion. Put on a spray skirt, and you stay completely dry in open ocean. In fact, customers have taken this down to you know northern Arctic waters, um, that kind of thing. Sorry, my internet's a bit slow. I'm actually on holiday, and I'm using my mobile data <laughs> to uh, load this page and record a video and upload a video. So. It's about all it can take, really. But we'll get up this picture. Uh, actually, I close it there. I'll find the picture first uh, when it comes up, and I'll show you. Now, what's the difference while that's loading? What's the difference between the convertible elite and the convertible? Well, price for one, so this is a few hundred dollars more. Uh, the reason it's more expensive primarily is it has a drop stitch floor. So drop stitch is a high-pressure chamber that allows you to inflate to such high pressures that you could stand on it. It's what they make stand-up paddle boards out of. So it gives you better performance and it's more durable. The downside is you've got to pump a bit harder to get it up there and it's more expensive, obviously, and it's a bit harder under your bum. Now, they've given you a foam seat here, so you've got a bit of a rise from your bum to uh, the floor, but it's still harder. This one is soft as, right? The, the floor that's in there is like a lilo. It's really low-pressure, cushiony kind of floor, very, very comfortable to sit on. It's obviously easier to inflate because it's quicker. Uh, doesn't quite have the same level of durability that floor because it's a lilo for the fishing. Anything else, it won't matter. It's just fishing. Um, and uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Didn't I say? Oh, and it doesn't have quite the same performance because you don't have the same level of rigidity. The other difference is the bag. The bag uh, for the convertible elite comes with backpack straps. For the convertible, it doesn't. And the other difference is the lumbar seat. So these seats actually have a lumbar support cushion behind your lumbar, which you inflate with a mouthpiece. Mouth very, very luxurious, whereas um, the convertible, the regular convertible, doesn't quite have that level of luxury. Still very, very comfortable seats, though, and they're both great on the water. Like, we've sold, I don't know, must be a 1,000 of these over the years, and people just love them. Um, now I was going to show you this double-deck conversion. 
Okay, so you see that's a zip-on deck. People zip that on, and then that's inflatable combing around the cockpit, and then you can put a spray skirt on that. I think I've got a picture of – yeah, let's bring this one up. I don't know how good the visibility is, but they've got a black spray skirt on. Now, while that's loading, we do a bunch of packages. Let's see if this takes forever to load. Uh, so you, what you need is basically a kayak, a pumper paddle, and maybe some life jackets. And then we sell a whole bunch of optional extras, basically. Okay. Um, oh, you can't see it. Maybe they don't have the skirt on in that picture. It must be a different one. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, no, I don't have it in here. It must be on the regular convertible, which I'm not going to load now. But trust me, you can put a spray skirt on. So, a popular one, depending on what you want to do. So, if you want to do open ocean, the drop stitch package is a good option for you. It's that advanced frame convertible elite. So, it's got the drop stitch floor included. It comes with both deck conversions, two touring four part paddles. I like these paddles because they've got a snug fit, so they don't rattle. They're not cheap, nasty ones. Two spray skirts, a hand pump with gauge, a cart. Because it's a fairly heavy kayak, it's about 24 kilograms, it's if you're going out by yourself, because you can actually go solo in this kayak, you can strap the cart on the back, pick up the front and wheel it down to the water. And a dry bag set, that's a popular one for open ocean because it's got the decks and the skirts. You can mix and match these packages to suit you though. So if you just want a double deck, you don't want a single deck and you don't want the skirts yet, for example, uh, I can make that happen. Or maybe you do want the skirts and you want to add in some PFDs, some personal flotation devices, I can make that happen as well. The other one we sell a lot of is this Cruising in Comfort, which is the regular advanced ring convertible, two touring paddles, dry bag set, a foot pump, and a pressure gauge. This is a bit easier because you can stand upright, and the cart. So a really basic package, no decks, no skirts, no hard floors, nothing. It's just to get people going. So let me know whereabouts you're at, uh, and we can kind of make something work. The life jackets are in here. Now, life jackets, I offer them because a lot of people just want to get everything done in one purchase kind of thing. But some people prefer to try them on, and I get that. That's totally fine. Please don't feel obliged. Okay, so we sell the Evolution and the Excursion. They are the same, just the Excursion has pockets. It's the same actual design. And these are from a brand called Liquid Life. It's a really, um, really good quality brand. It's an Australian brand. So I love the quality of the materials, the zippers, the buckles, all of that. But I also love the design. So they've been designed by a pro kayaker. Really wide open armholes, as you can see. Um, no bulk down the sides, a nice hinge down the torso. So it just gives you freedom of movement while you're kayaking. The sizing down here is based on weight, so I think there would be one LXL and maybe a medium. Depends on the body shape. I think it was 60 kilos, was it? But either way, let me know. And if you want me to put it in a package, I can help you with that. So, yeah, great kayak. If I had to choose, just based on what you said, um, I would probably go, if you want to do fishing, I would probably have first choice advanced frame convertible. But, sorry, if you want occasional fishing and good open water, I would go advanced frame convertible elite. Um, if you were looking for, <clears throat> if you said, look, no, I wasn't serious about fishing, advanced frame convertible. Um, and if you just really like the idea of a sit on top kayak, you could look at the straight, on straight edge too. But, I would only look at that if you were only going in kind of warm climates because you get wet, like I said, when you paddle. And it'd have to be like – I sell this to a lot of people who get a bit of claustrophobia in an enclosed kayak, if that makes sense. So you have to have a real strong preference for sit um, on top kayaks because this one's also shorter. So one of you is 185 centimetres. Like that's quite tall. This one, these two, the Advanced Rank Convertible Elite and the Advanced Rank Convertible, they're huge, hugely spacious kayaks. So that will be more comfortable for you. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, any questions, please come back to me um, and we'll go from there basically. But, yeah, happy to put a custom package together for you. Let me know what you're thinking and we'll go from there.